So my dad and I are still working hard to restore Jedediah, my 1987 Jeep Grand Wagoneer. I guess we need to put that ground on there and then see if it works, huh? I put the ground on there. You put the ground? I put the ground to the bottom. No, 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 I'm talking about on the barrier. Oh, yeah. Old Jed has now officially been moved to my house, so that way my dad doesn't get in trouble with the homeowners association. Something about maintaining a certain aesthetic in the neighborhood, whatever. Jedediah though, just FYI, now reliably runs. Today we needed to finish up wiring the windows while we wait for the new windshield wiper wiring harnesses to arrive, which will be enough for Jed to pass inspection. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. What, was it working? Oh, I'm working. Go. Okay, here we go again. Okay, which one are you doing now? That one won't go up though. Okay, we got an issue with that one. That won't go up? No, it won't go up. Well, that works. Wait, you just controlled it from there? Yeah. And it worked, Bogey? Tape's still on. Once he passes inspection, we can legally drive him on the road and get the speedometer checked and calibrated and make sure everything else is really shifting like it's supposed to. Something, up. something wrong with the switch here or something. Because it's only making it go down. Right? Yeah. Well, so, okay. Is it moving? One. You ain't got no ground. Oh. Okay, something or something happened with your ground, love. It's hooked up down there. Well, is it your ground wire then? Where's your ground wire? It's on the corner. <clears throat> so this one right here? This is the last one? No, it's right. It's that one. No, it's that one. Oh wait, where'd it go? It ain't there. Uh, it got pulled off. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, well that explains all of that. After my dad left, I cleaned up and welcomed my friends Diego and Tiffany down from Austin. They were our neighbors in the duplex we used to rent, and when we realized we were moving away here to San Antonio, they were a couple that Mr. Hollis and I agreed to make long-distance friendship work with. So we invite them down every now and then to drink, play video games, and grow. Mm -hmm. I feel like I have to like hold it such that you can get a better angle. <laughs> Just live your best life, Diego. Don't oh. worry about it. Well, Good. Well, be. living my best life yeah, involves yeah. helping my friends. Frangelico? <laughs> Actually, you need to get your consent. Do you mind being in the YouTube video? Of course not. Awesome. It's exciting. Would you like to try some? Similar situation with the cool watermelon the margarita. <laughs> watermelon <laughs> mango orange margaritas. <laughs> Sorbets. Sorbets. <laughs> <laughs> This is very alcoholic. Is it? I was afraid it wasn't alcoholic enough. This is alcoholic. It's, it's, I mean, I I'm still it. eating it, so it's like, not. <laughs> I one shot. Did you really? Or whatever this is. This is a shot, right? This is a normal shot. No, it's not a normal shot. Oh, yeah. I feel like that's a shot and a half. That's a shot and a half. So it's a shot and a half. I mean, okay. Well, we don't have that much watermelon anymore. Diego took my camera for a little while to try out being a videographer, and I must say, I like the style, this Michel Gondry-esque style he's got going. It makes me want to attempt to do a vlog in a non-stop, continuous shot, uh, but production value will definitely need to be upped for anything like that to happen. Nevertheless, thanks for the creative inspiration, Diego. Uh, broccoli. Polenta, well, we have polenta too. Uh, Polenta, get that cornbread out of my face. I feel like I'm casing your house for anybody who's interested. <laughs> 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 you know, 
You know what I'd like to try? A liquor melon. A liquor melon? You want to soak this? Yeah. Vodka? Me? And, well, ooh. Yeah, it's helping you out. The next, uh, the next cookout. You coming, buddy? Oh, can you grab the tongs? I'm sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Ready? Yep. I'm going to try watermelon, mango, orange, margarita sorbet. <laughs> Probably need a shorter name for it. Mm hmm. Let it meditate. Swirl it. Hold on. It just smells. I need another bite. Okay. I need another bite. Hold on. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, the com the complexity mm -hmm. of the flavors really helps mellow out the tequila. <laughs> <laughs> this is Fezzik, their awesome dog with an awesome underbite. Tiffany is a chemical engineer, so it's really fun and interesting to see what she's experimenting on in the desserts category. Currently, she's been trying out different types of artisan jello concoctions. It's like, this is like fancy jello. Should I, should I just dig into it? Go for it. Live your best jello life. That's what I say. <laughs> Here, we'll start out small in case it's big. I'll eat you. Can you grab some of the more left? Open it at the bottom? You could, you could kind of place those little tiny bits on the top and it'll make like a pack. Go. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that really worked. Didn't really work. Here we go. And then this is lime and basil? Mm -hmm. Oh, lime and coconut. Mm. I like the coconut, so. I could appreciate a lot more by itself. Mm. But then it gets overpowered by the lime. Yeah. So this one has more coconut cream in it, and then the lime one is just coconut water. Tiffany and Diego are those people that you have a rare chance to meet that instantly bring you joy. And it's not just you. It's something about who they are at their core. They just, they just have joy built into them. I'm always happy to see them. They're always more than welcome to stay as long as they like. And they're just really easy to be around. The older I get, the more I cherish those types of people. Diego's in the process of designing a video game that's actually really fun. When he gets closer to wrapping it up, I'll try to get him back on here so he can talk to you all about it, because it's really cool. We've been playing it. After they left, I spent most of the day editing and getting ready to push out content on this platform. Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, and I'm back with a hair update. Hey everyone, it's me, Halise. So something I wanna start doing is like commentary on some of the films, videos that I produce on this channel. Hey everyone, it's me, Halise, back with another video. So all three of these pieces are now live on my channel. Go check them out if the spirit moves you. So after my father and I figured out our grounding issue, he had to take off back home. But he left everything at my house so I could finish wiring up the doors on my own. I actually really like wiring because it's a very basic concept. Complete the circuit. Now there's multiple ways you can choose to do this and you can get creative, but at the end of the day, everything needs power and ground. That's it. It's a puzzle that you can make as complex or simplistic as you want. Hardly any brute strength is required and because of the simple nature of what you're doing, it's also easy to troubleshoot. My father always wanted me to be an engineer growing up. He said I had a knack for this stuff, a chip off the old block and things like such as. So you can imagine his devastation when I changed my engineering major in college to film. Thank God him and my mother didn't cut my funding after that. I see film as a form of engineering. I'm building a story with the pieces that I have, just like I would wiring a car. Most stories have a basic three-act structure. The question mark, what's gone wrong, exposition, where are we trying to get to? The exclamation point 
What's the conflict? How have we raised the stakes? And finally, the period, the end of the story. How you get through each of these is up to you, and there's a million different ways to find each of them and exploit them, but the overall steps are the same. The question mark, the exclamation point, the period. Anyway, this feels like a good place to end the vlog, so if the spirit moves you, like, share, subscribe. I'll see you when I see you.